Police battle student protesters marching against citizenship amendment bill with lofty charge at Kesampa traffic point. Education Minister Thaksun Ratisham says implementation of citizenship amendment bill pose no threat to Manipur. And Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala inaugurates week-long 6th Intercollegiate Youth Festival come Sports Meet 2019 at Central Agricultural University, Kiwisimba. Hello and welcome to Impact News watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangwazam Shalira bringing you the top stories and latest news at this hour. CRPF personnel Lati Char student hesitators against passing of citizenship amendment built in the ongoing parliamentary at Kesampa Traffic Point today. Students took out protest rally under the initiative of Northeast Students Organization NASO and All Manipur Student Union AMSU from Kesampa Lemism Lakai Community Hall towards the Ras Baban, but Manipur police personnel halted them at Kesampa Traffic Point. Intense scuffled occurred between the protesters and police. Later, police allowed few representatives to submit a memorandum to Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala. However, the remaining student protesters kept trying to march ahead, which led to a huge commotion. CRP personnel deployed in the area acted swiftly to contain the situation and lati charged the students with plastic fiber sticks. Finally, upon reaching an understanding, the protesting students returned to their initial point. Speaking to media, MSU HRD Secretary Bruce P. Bumped objective to implementation of CAB in the North States. He strongly condemned the CRP personnel for carrying out lati charges upon the student protesters. Students in Assam, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura and Meghalaya also hesitated against passing of CAB in the ongoing parliament. Various student organizations carried out the protest under the initiative of Northeast Forum for Indigenous People, NEFIB. Women vendors of Quarimbond Market sees one day work and stays sit in against passing of Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 in the winter session of the Parliament, which began today. Shops at Quarimbond, Pona, and Thangal Markets remain shut down. They protested under the banner of Manpac, extending solidarity to the initiative of Northeast Forum for Indigenous People, NEFIF. Speaking to media, Nefe President Ningtoja Lanja recalled that people of North States have been protesting against passing of the controversial bill right from the time it was introduced. He condemned the Indian government for trying to pass CEB in the parliament amid apprehension of threat to Manipur by the final outcome of the Naga peace talks. Ningtoja Lanja warned that people of North States are all set to fight against such communion act of the BJP-led government. He mentioned that the people will even approach eminent organizations like the United Nations if the Indian government ever passed the bill in the parliament. Ningtokta Lancha urged Chief Minister Ningtombam Biren to act as per people's interest and not according to the whims of the central leaders. Various placards against BJP government and CAB were displayed at the protest meet stays between the two Kwaremban Ima market and at two other places of the temporary market.
kari kumbu bill lese cina giba targa di. Aikoi Februari ki tang mapan dagi na. Februari ki tang tara kum doi fau pada disinga ni ngatara mapan ki. Kai cie lese cina mayam lekan da bom top marakta aikoi nengam dana piran hagit kiba adumai na. Aikoi lekta na cangjin gani. Madu fau pada India government na Manipur government na thowi daba targa di. Manipur miam na awang nopok lamdam ki miam golo ni na. Aikoi Malay ki laywak sing da. Aikoi ki awa apa cie pud na pau tamlu gani. Adu golo ni na awang nopok lamdam mamlu di Manipur na. Aikoi na Februari ki tang mapan nama di tarau kum doi de lek kiba. Aikoi na hai di bersih bi je cina bata argadi. Aikoi ki laybak aset tunglam cera aset. Aikoi miam na lep cera bata abni hai bapire. Padu da aikoi masana lep lap kata abni. Students of Jiribam Higher Secondary School at Babupara in Jiribam District carried out alert protest meet under the initiative of Coordinating Committee Jiribam on Manipur Integrity, demanding protection of Manipur's territorial integrity and disclosure of the final outcome of Naga Peace Talks at their school gate today. Various placards were displayed during the protest meet. Students of N. Tomjo Higher Secondary School, Mayang Infault, also form human chain today against disintegration of Manipur by finalization of Nagapi's talks. Members of Youth Popular Club, Kiamgai Awang, and Maninklegai Apun Bamaira Paibi Loop, Kiamgai, carried out protest demonstrations at the opposite of Manipur University Gate today against disintegration of Manipur and implementation of citizenship amendment built in northern states including Manipur. Various slogans were chanted during the protest. Kesam Thong Hodam Tlairak Yumzao Lairambi Meira Paibi Nupi Kanglubt and Kesam Thong Hodam Tlairak Club also stays sit in against the same at Kesam Pat Hodam Tlairak Machin. Agree making Matang, the Manipur Puna Manga, Manipur Kaipe Yaro, Amato in a Tanji Hagan, Sukana, Iran Torizem, Matak, Sida, citizens, Sikaram, Mong, the Putore, no Habado, Nakaching, Nakangi, a Sigi Sarkas in a Torise, one at Tongue Tongue, but the Tobaya Braba, Aduoko Yaning, the Hanga Sigi Sarkas in a Masigi Sakam Jikar Gladi, Purak, the Ziman Pusakan, who's the Pai Sarkas in Puga Dabani. People of 14 villages in eastern part of Kairau constituency stays alert protest meet today at Langdum Langkai under the banner of Coordinating Committee on Manipur Integrity Kokomi. Villages of Kairau Langdum Kanarok, Janam Sandrok, Yafarok Maring, Waito Funal Maring, Waito Chiru, Sambon Tangkult, Funal Kuno, Sandang Singba Maring, Kapur Sungba, Tiam Konsin Wongkem, Tamnaching, and the wrong five village took part in the protest chanting various slogans. They have warrant of intense hesitation if Manipur is ever disintegrated by the final outcome of Nagapi's talks. Barisan karena Manipur miamnya apa mungkin orang tanya pada lalau bergrup keragi pen yang betul pada santi lejar apa asyik gumpal lagi pada asyik santi cuba yang betul pada tarik di Manipur dah lagi pak miam masih na aku itu tunggu firap kita lambi yang macam jaga ni habis si barisan karena nengsing begitu dah bni aku ibu langi patron tu begitu no aku ibu peace santi paham masih aku ibu santi ini lehen view habis si barisan karena gigi mai kita aku ini apil tu jari Anderson I am amasung India government ki warisan abad adu aku ini ating bapi de aku ini welcome tawi adu bu nungsi na bagi thay na gigi nungsi na bagi layrak layrak liba asidi kaihan beginu habis si aku ini kholau ni Members of Moiram Kendra Progressive Front also stays a lot protest meet at Hemam Community Hall, Moiram. Protesters vow to sacrifice their lives to save Manipur. Members of Thanga Apunba Ngamkai Kanbaloop also stays a lot protest meet at Thanga Chingluk Bazaar in Bisnupur district under the banner of Kokomi today. Relay hunger strike against non-disclosure of Nagapi stock, non-convening of state assembly session and against implementation of CAB in the northern states by members of Manipur Brothers Congress Committee has entered third day today. Taking part in the protest, MPCC in charge Dongbram Robindra asserted that the Congress party will strive its best to stop the passing of CAB in the ongoing parliamentary session, which the BJP government is adamant to do so amid issue of Nagapi stock prevailing in the state. He also disclosed that MPCC leaders will be carrying out protest demonstrations at Jantar Mantar in New Delhi starting November 20. Taking part in the protest, MPCC Vice President S. Ajoba termed the denial of the appointment 
of MPCC leaders by the Prime Minister and Home Minister of India as inconsiderate towards the people of Manipur. He appointed the state BJP leaders must intervene in the matter. I coin on a cheat, Tenerible Lan Mam Sinse, Atay Yamtanate, Manipur, Kananamogidamutani, Manipur, Se, Lendrana, I coin, Lady Buts, Ipai Pugi Hakatagi, Sahi, the Shinkayagi Mamangagi, Manipurgi territory, Si Boundary, Se, Namkay, Se, Si Subsana Lepe and Siba Hong than a Laga, Hosita Kadubagi, Namkay Kahina Bohonari, even no, Masipunamakse, Masi, I coin Manipur Podest, Congress Committee, Mike, Masi opposed the way, Adugaluna, Manipurgi Praza Punamanasu, Masi Yavam Tokti. All Manipur Nupi Marav State's alert protest meet at Irawan Babant against threat to Manipur by the outcome of Naga peace talks and against passing of citizenship amendment bill today. Speaking to media, President of the Association, M. Saki, asserted that if CAB is ever passed in the parliament, it cannot be implemented in Manipur. Baro Sarkarna, Karim Tauroi, Hari Vasida, I did Tazai, Manipurki Praza, Miam, Taza, the Budu, Eregadi, Salaga, Virusoka, and Haibe, Wangang Sangangze, MP, Magi, Wangang Nati. Karigino assembly Kawiadrise, Manipurki Praza, Miam, Mamma Hauri was there, assembly Kaurakan to Dada, cabinet me from Pamakan to Dada, Manipur Praza, Miamgi, Apamba du Kanga, Moina Wari Lauraga, Baro Sarkar, the Tagadam Nev, Palamenda Pukalangadam, Moina Pasta Dorini, Palamena, I in Shemwadam Neva, I call Manipur Praza, Miamna, Shemwadam Nativa, Nasi assembly the Pamiba, Emele. Minister Mayam Chingje, I call him Mayam Punamanga, Chenza, Tunza, Tauraka, Tarakiba, Habuarang at the Neva, Habuarang Jingina, Manipur Praza Miamgi, Wakalam the Kalakta Taragadi, Mojo Tubja law, Manipur Praza Miam Chingje, Inga Tamna, Amukang di Panba, Leva Ado Oiraji, Shebi Oiro, Indonaga Prema Egimense, Sanarako Oiro, Adu Oitaragadi, Nubi Marupna, Hanbalaitana, Shiva Kidana, Manipur Praza Miamgi the Makta, Lipi. Communist Party of the India in a press release extended full support to the 18 hour statewide total shutdown called by Manpak. Convener of Manpak Jiri W. Dinas declared that Manpak Jiri will extend full support to Manpak's 18 hour statewide shutdown from this midnight till 6 p.m. of November 19. Speaking to media at MSF Jiri branch office in Babupara, Jiri bombed today, he further urged people of Jiri bomb to support the total shutdown. Chief Secretary of Manipur, Dr. J. Suresh Babu, in a press release has notified to all the state government offices and institutions to remain open tomorrow. The press release further warrant of strings and actions if employees fail to report for duty. Education Minister Toksandra Desham has asserted that the Citizenship Amendment Bill imposes no harm to Manipur and welcome holding of discussion if it is otherwise. He was speaking at the prize distribution ceremony of state-level essay competition at the auditorium of Manipur State Film Development Society in Palace Compound today. The Department of Education School organized the competition or the team Citizenship Amendment Bill. Education Minister Radisha Mandan that Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 seeks to amend the Citizenship Act 1955 to grant citizenship to Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Persi and Christian migrants from Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan who have settled for at least six years in India as of December 31, 2014. He clarified that the bill seeks to grant citizenship only to migrants who have been taking refugee for a long period in India and not to any new migrants. He assured that the bill will never harm the territorial integrity of Manipur and urged the people not to be apprehensive. Minister Radisha mentioned that there is no case of any migrants who have settled in Manipur before December 31, 2014, applying for Indian citizenship. He appealed to people to hold dialogues to clear any doubts so that appropriate measures may be taken if deemed fit. Speaking about the essay writing competition, Minister Radisha stated that the event aimed to raise awareness about social issues issues among students and to enhance their personality. Expressing happiness over the mass participation by students from across the state, the Education Minister assured that the department will further organize such events in the future. Education Commissioner K. H. Ragumani, Education as Director T. H. Kiran Kumar, Director of Higher and Technical Education Malim Ganba Chengli, and top officials of the Education Department attended the event. Uh, 
ground mui vote nai birakpa. Ground kari no mui political party yau dhi yaro. Sakaan tauri thabuk tu taudhi yaro. Bala lau ne kiel lagpa. Lai ham ne kiel lagpa kangu tu. Koi gimi mui ni kiel laga. Koi India masa ha na pulli ngi tu lai ram kangu tu. Kiel lagpa nai ram. Kiel laga lai ram kangu tu. Adu tu pi bagi wane ram. Yaram tu illegal ay wai tu lagpa illegal ay lor nui tu yar ni ay bagi amend amend tu nai ram. Adu ha na lai ram mui sing tu. Kadu amda no mani pur sangat tu is. Gujarat ta. Punjab ta, Maharashtra ta, Delhi ta, Sangha ka lai rama mi singh du akhoi Manipur da, Sangha ka toh isi kadai da no. Maya unhe Manipur ee laaktara sangha ni, Karo rama balaadeh se thorok dan lai rae. Karo rama thore Manipur ee laaktara sangha toh isi kadai da sangha toh isi laaktara no. Hai risi provision ni amendment ni yao risi di, 2014, 31st December, adu bhao da laak rama, adu bhao da lai rama mi singh du na sahi taruk shura ka di, yaani hai baneva. Adu bhao da hujik bhao ka naam da laak bala iti Manipur da. Adu bhao da citizens ee apply ta uraba, Buddhist, Christian, Hindu, Aduh kumpa, lah agak lagi rambat. Apply tauruk kan India kau mana tauruk kan so Manipur lagi juga yang tauruk kan so. Aku ini lah lah aku ini Manipur ini Manipur lagi juga yang tauruk kan so. DC lagi ayam verify tauruk kan sumber sumbera. Ye orang ini orang kan orang Manipur ini sakit mana tera aduh lembam ini aduh di mana tanya dia sumber sumbera ye orang ini thara kan. Aduh ini approve tauruk kan na. Sangat gaduh mana ya. Aduh Manipur dah Mayam sakit lak turis kedai dengar. Sini Mayam na uzi confusion lise. Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala integrated the week-long 6th Intercollegiate Youth Festival Come Sports Meet 2019 at Central Agricultural University in Irisemba today. 13 constituent colleges of CAU in Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Sikkim, Nagaland and Tripura and 6 Krishi Vigyan Kantris are participating in the festival. Speaking at the event, Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala expressed firm belief that the festival will instill the spirit of patience and dedication, love and peace and oneness among the youths. She mentioned that Manipur is called India's powerhouse of sports because of its remarkable contribution in the field of sports. She encouraged sportsperson of the state to strive towards excelling at various sports events in the world. Dr. Governor, Dr. Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala added that recent initiatives of the center to improve and promote sports will greatly facilitate sport person of the state. CAU Vice Chancellor Professor M. Premjit was among those present in the event. The Central Agriculture University has done a commendable job in uniting the youth of the different constituent colleges from different states of the Northeast region on a single platform. Such festivals come sports meet can spread the right message and infuse the right spirit of love, peace, compassion, hard work and commitment among the youths. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Justice Sarat Arvind Bodhi taking over as the 47th Chief Justice of the India. You're watching Impact News. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime English News. Justice Sarath Arvind Bodhi took oath as the 47th Chief Justice of the India on Monday. President Ramnath Kovit administered him the oath of office at Rastapati Bhavan. Justice Bodhi succeeded Justice Ranjan Gogoi, who retired on Sunday. Vice President N. Ben Naidu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Brila, former Prime Minister Dr. Mohammad Singh, Home Minister Amit Sa, BJP veteran L.K. Advani were present on the occasion, among others. Justice Bodhid will have a tenure of around 18 months till his retirement on April 23, 2021. Justice Bodhid was elevated as the Judge of the Supreme Court on April 12, 2013. He was part of the five judge constitution bench which delivered the landmark Ayodhya verdict. Justice of the High Court of Manipur, K.H. Nobin, launched three-day mega legal game at Singhat Playground in Georgiampo District today. District Legal Services Authority, along with District Administration, Georgiampo, under the aegis of Manipur Legal Services Authority, involved in Georgiampo sector, Assam Rifles, organized the game. Speaking on the occasion, Justice K.H. Nobin asserted that the game aimed to raise awareness on various government schemes, constitutional rights and legal rights to the public. Various departments opened their stall at the game.
Various civil society organizations have strongly condemned arrest of Sanayema, alias R.K. Meghent, and his son and lawyer by some government agency after R.K. Meghent was released from Guwahati Central Jail on November 9. Co-convener of Civil Society Coalition for Human Rights in Manipur and UNCSCHR, Falindra Konsum, Executive Director of Human Rights Alert, HRA, Bablu Loitungbam, Chairman of Human Rights Defender Manipur, HRDM, Joyce Jingham, Vice President of Committee on Human Rights, COHR Manipur, H. Chandra Dhond, Executive Director of Center for Research and Advocacy Manipur, CRAM Jitian Yumnam, Lead Coordinator of Reach Out Ketrimayam O'Neill, Managing Trustee of Just Peace Foundation, JPF, Kangembamt Anandi, President of the United People's Front, UPF W. Second, and President of Extrajudicial Execution Victims Family Association Manipur, E. Formed, Renu Takelangbamt have jointly submitted a petition to Manipur Human Rights Commission against the same. It may be mentioned that National Investigation Agency arrested R.K. McKent for weighing war against the Indian government and kept him at Kohoti Central Jail in 2010. R.K. McKent, his son and his lawyer have been kept at an undisclosed by some agency of the government following his release. National Health Mission Manipur, along with Directorate of Health Services, Manipur kick off the World Antibiotic Awareness Week observance at Ima Holt in Lamfeld today. The observance aims to increase global awareness on antibiotic resistance and to encourage best practice among the general public, health workers and policymakers to avoid further emissions and spread of antibiotic resistance. Taking part in the event, Director of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. K. Rajo, urged the public to refrain from practicing self medication. He asserted that self-prescription of the antibiotics causes resistance and hinder improvement process. Pamphlets informing people to consult a doctor instead of self-prescribing antibiotics to treat common cold or body ache were distributed to people on the occasion. RIMS Director Professor A. Santa, Director of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Services, Dr. H. Jawa and many physicians took part in the event. Antibiotics are a substance, are chemical substance, which are used for killing the, killing or uh, slowing the infection or growth of the microbes like viruses, parasites, bacteria, fungus, etc. And we have to teach the general public the correct use of antibiotics. And we have to make them aware about the danger and the side effects of the misuse, underuse of the antibiotics. So we are all responsible for the antibiotic resistance and we have to work together. I request the cooperation from all sections of the departments and the public for the slowing down or for prevention and for effective implementation of the control of the antibiotic resistance. In, in India, I think we use much, much more antibiotic than the Western country. So we should learn it and our curriculum also should insist on that, where to use and when it's not necessary not to be used it because later on we will have more and more problems so and uh, more and more research is necessary 182nd Battalion PSF Koirengai under Sector Headquarters CI Operation Manipur as part of its civic action program distributed gym equipments to local clubs and organizations of Itham, Tumukong and Moirang Purild in Involved East District today. Commandant of 182 Battalion BSF Nidil Gupta along with 2nd in Command Administration TH Binot and many Army personnel of the unit handed over the items to the club members. Commander Nitin Gupta also interacted with members of the clubs and organizations. The program was organized to foster and strengthen the relation between security forces and local populists as well as to inculcate physical fitness among the local youths. Certificates were distributed to 177 students who have passed the field technical computing and peripheral training program at Bishnupur Kiamba Hall today. Humanism Foundation and Lokdak Brigade jointly organized the program under the Pradhan Mantri Koshan Vikas Tiozana at Lokdak Skill Development Center, Lagoy Part. Speaking on the occasion, Bishnupur DC Nita Arangbam urged people to take advantage of the Yozna initiated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi with an aim to provide skilled training to over 40 crore people to facilitate self employment.
Punjab and Sin Bank Hekman branch was opened at Thobalt Womadama Parking today. Executive Director of Punjab and Sin Bank, Dr. Farid Ahmad, inaugurated a bank for Kekman Gram Panchayat in Lilong constituency of Thobalt District. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. Farid Ahmad asserted that the bank branch will greatly benefit the people in the area. Journal Manager of Punjab and Sin Bank, NC Das, and Senior Manager of Punjab and Sin Bank, Infal Branch, A. Kennedy, attended the event. Now the sports news. Ex-Polo Club Wong Kai has lifted the championship trophy of the 35th and Hazari and Dr. N. Dombi State Polo Tournament. In the final match played today, Ex-Polo Club Wong Kai defeated MPSC Team B by 5-1. For the winners, POZ and Elt Atangba scored two goals each while TH Jacob scored one goal. The lone goal of the losing team was scored by T. Pradeep Kumar. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister Karam Shyam, President of Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association, H. Dilip, Retired IAS Veterinary Director Dr. H. Chauba and N. Sanatombi accorded a cash award of 50,000 rupees and a trophy to the champion team. A cash award of 20,000 rupees and a trophy was accorded to the runners of and a cash award of 10,000 rupees and a trophy was also presented to the best discipline team, Samuro Polo Club team. United Veteran Football Association contributed the awards. 34 polo teams from various parts of the state participated in the knockout basis polo tournament held under the aegis of Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Police battles student protesters marching against the censorship amendment built with Lati Chars at Kesampa traffic point. Education Minister Thokson Pratisham says implementation of citizenship amendment bill posed no threat to Manipur. And Governor Dr. Nasima Haftala integrates week-long 6th Intercollegiate Youth Festival Come Sports Meet 2019 at Central Agricultural University, Iroi Sengbar. <laughs>